Hi. Hello. Howdy. What the fuck are we in for? <laughs> Let's just get to it. I don't know what to expect. I remember... Okay. I remember starting the answer forever and a day ago. And I remember watching the first few cutscenes. But I don't remember doing any gameplay or anything in it. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. But whatever. We'll find out. This option allows you to find out what happens after the events of the main story of Persona 3. We recommend that players finish the journey before playing this chapter. Yeah. <laughs> I, I... You, you don't say. The combat difficulty is also higher in this chapter compared to the normal storyline. Cool. Enjoy the increased challenge. Cool. Well, let's see what's about to happen. Y yeah? This ordeal. It may be that we brought it upon ourselves. Oh no! They're fighting! Sorry, I'm just like... I, I know that Igus is wearing a fancy getup, but I don't know why if they ever give a plot reason for it. Hey look, it's it's a new character who we haven't met yet. The fact that a future exists, and being able to access it, are very different things. We did not understand such an obvious and natural principle yet. Okay. Indeed, we understood very little. We knew nothing about using the key to open the path to the future. Whatever that means. Sometime before the incident, March 31st, 2010, 1.30 p.m. Yukari-chan, it's me. Um, are you coming today? Oh, uh, didn't you see the message I left on the board? I have cram school today. I know, but... I left all the stuff at the dorm, so I don't have to be there in person, right? I suppose not, but are you okay with that? Yeah... I'm gonna pass. Oh, sorry. Break's almost over. I gotta go. Tell everyone I said hi, okay? Awkward. Oh, this is new music. Yukari-chan's not coming after all. I don't remember this, this having new music too, huh? Well, I mean, okay. There's obviously one track that's new. But we'll, that's not gonna be for a while. Anyway, let's, let's move on. Sonata-san said he's busy at the gym, so I doubt he'll be here in time either. Man, what's up with those two? The dorm's closing down today. With all our memories of this place, you'd think they'd want to see it off, right? Where are your wings, Koromaru? be helped. They just see things differently. Everyone started down their own chosen path. It's a good thing. You're right. I can hardly blame them. They seem to get busier and busier. 
I didn't have to reclaim these, I might not have made it either. Cool. So we finally got to give up our evokers. I hate to let it go, but it's not like I got a use for it anymore. Let's see, two, four, wait, how many are there supposed to be? I guess. I believe this is all of them. Huh? You had one too, I guess so? I'd forgotten. You had his for safekeeping. I was gonna say, I'm nearly positive she doesn't use it, but... <laughs> yeah. Awkward. get all gloomy again. I don't think that's the way he would have wanted to see this end. I'm sorry. You're right. We all said our goodbyes to him. But I still wonder, why did it happen? Who knows? The doctors didn't find anything wrong with him afterward. It just seemed like he fell asleep, didn't it? He must have used up all his power to protect us at that last battle. I mean, to be fair, we did use up all our HP. It took 999 HP. You know, that's all uh, That's all we're ever going to get, so... It's useless to try and guess at the reasons why. I am certain he didn't blame anybody for what happened. Yeah, Aichon's got that right. Hey, but I'm glad to see you're still hanging in there, I guess. Back then, it was like he was all you could think about. <laughs> Sorry, I just... I'm somewhat surprised as well. Just the way that she looked at him without saying anything, I kind of just imagined like a death glare, like, fuck you. <laughs> oh, I guess. It's possible that I will not feel the full impact until I am alone tomorrow at the lab. Jeez. Huh? The lab? Are you planning to commute to school from there next semester? I don't think she's going to school next semester, baby girl. Oh, no, I... I guess is returning herself to the lab tomorrow. She won't be enrolled as a senior. Yeah. I mean, there's no real reason for her to be a senior. She already knows, like, fucking everything in the universe, right? <laughs> uh, it's a little sad. Seriously? Why? Can't she stay in school like before? The decision was mine. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I enjoyed being with you all. But I need to find my own way of life. Oh, but you can come visit me anytime. I guess. Think of it as a new beginning for her. Anyway, we seem to have gotten on the wrong track, but today's not meant to be a sad occasion. It's meant to be the answer. <laughs> we have fun here. I've ordered excellent sushi for us all. The same as before, actually. We may not have been able to get everyone together, but we should all have dinner here tonight. Oh, that, that would be great! You got that sushi again? Sweet! No objections here. You're gonna join us, right, I guess? Of course. I couldn't miss spending time with you all. Well, this is sweet. I wonder when it all goes to hell. The number of apathy syndrome cases is down from last month, which seems to mark an end to the strange illness. Hooray! However, surveys show that the number of people who report serious stress in everyday life has not decreased. According to research carried out by the Ministry of Health and Welfare... Yes. Oh, when did it get so late? 
Excuse me. Sorry, my X button isn't pressing. It's almost midnight. X button, are you going to press when I press you this time? It's hard to hey. believe we've spent the evening doing nothing. It did. Sitting here like this reminds me of those days. Perhaps that's why. I think I can understand. I have so many memories of this lounge that I find myself spending time here for no reason. It's the same for me. When I'm here, I think about when we were still fighting. Understandable. It's strange, since my memories of that time are more painful than happy. Yeah, memories are funny. They have a weird way of, like, being warped by your own recollection of them. Like, the way you remember a memory is more important than how you experienced it. But that's another topic for another day. Well, all that stuff aside, doesn't something feel weird to you guys? I'll be walking around and people act like as long as they're happy right now, nothing else matters. Those stupid stories that Strega spread around are still out there, you know? It makes me think... Is this what we almost died to protect? Are you saying people don't know how good they have it? <laughs> You're sounding like an old man. Hey, who asked you? Hey, be nice to Ken. That's out of our hands, I'm afraid. We prevented the fall, but we can't reform society. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> the next two games would argue otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But still. And that's the weather. Cool. At the tone, the time will be midnight. Oh no, here we go, here we go. What was that? Midnight. It can't be. Is it the dark hour again? Nah, everything's fine out there. But it did sound like something locked. Wait, the news. Good evening. It is now March 31st. Here's a recap of the news from the 30th. Oh, so it just, like, the day re-rolled? The 31st was yesterday, right? Did the anchor misread the date? Hey, is that all? Even they make mistakes every once in a while. It's nothing. I'm sure it's nothing. Weird. My cell says it's the 31st too. Well, looks like a false alarm. So far, I'd agree. But something felt... off. <sighs> it's late. We should call it a night. What a lame finish to our last day in the dorm. <sighs> um... Would it be alright if I returned to my room? I have to prepare to move tomorrow. Sure. Good night, I guess. Night. And that's the answer. Well, oh, roll the credits. I'd best contact Yukari and Akihiko, just in case. At midnight? Goddamn, you're gonna wake him up. Hey, Yukari, it's your girlfriend. Did you sense anything weird? Oh, hey, okay, you go, whatever. Nothing new? Okay, bye. Uh, Yukari, though, are you okay? An hour later in Igus's room. When I close my eyes, I remember the last moment I spent with him. Purple text, huh? The day he fell asleep, we brought him back to our dorm. Fear beginning to well up within us. And the next morning... Our fears became reality, and he was lost to us. For some time after that, I fell into depression and began seeing the same dream night after night. A dream where I run after him, calling his name, but can never catch up. You know, this is an awkward time to mention it, but 
It's they, them. Sorry, whatever. Well, let's move on. When he was alive. They. I promised to protect him. Them. And I made that my reason for living. <laughs> okay, I'll stop being dumb. <laughs> that promise is gone. Unfulfilled. Then, one day, my sadness suddenly left me as if a prison door had swung open. I stopped dreaming, and I no longer required sleep. Cool. It's no use. I can't sleep. Man, even robots can't fucking sleep on command? Ugh, technology sucks. The future sucks. Can I really continue living like this? Oh, hi, Philemon. Huh? A butterfly? Huh? What's going on? Igus, are you awake? Yes, I am. The door is open. We need you. That's a new sprite. Well, portrait, I guess, is the better term. They don't. That's the first time I've ever seen that one. Well, I mean, I guess I must have seen this before when I did the beginning to this, but whatever. Semantics aside. Has something happened? It's not another enemy, is it? It's hard to describe. The lobby floor opened up and... Uh, anyway, we need to hurry to the lounge. Understood. Come to think of it, the day my dreams stopped, that must have been when the incident actually began. Cool. Huh? What's this? Everyone! Keep your guard up, I guess. It doesn't seem human. I think that was a new portrait for Mitsuru, too. A shadow? No, this is... It can't be. The same model as me? Your, I guess? Sorry I'm late. Is everyone okay? Wait. Wait. How are you communicate? I thought it's not the dark out. Well, well, we'll get there. I don't remember. Yes, for now. I need you to provide backup for Igus. All right. Who are you? Why are you doing this? I'm Medis. I've come to protect you. Cool. Protect me? These people pose a threat to you. That is why they will be eliminated. Uh, oh, okay. What are you saying? I won't let you hurt them. Then I have no choice. For your sake, I'll have to force you to back down. God, she looks a little doofy in that, like, animation, but okay. You must stand aside. Alright. And look at our stats. That's not 999 HP. That is not what I was expecting nor wanting, but whatever. What items do we have? We have nothing. Okay. Tactics, at least? Uh, all analysis, sure. Give me a shot. I'll scan the target. Puka, time is of the essence. And we have Kill Rush, Swift Strike, and Tsukukaja. We're starting from ground zero, if you haven't noticed. 
So this is just gonna be a tutorial fight, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think this it matters what you do. Whoa. Don't resist and I won't hurt you. It doesn't seem like darkness will work. Ah, that sucks. I was about to use Medoon. Alright. Metis is hesitating. Interesting. If you haven't noticed, the voice lines for Igus are different too. Uh, when she's attacking, I mean. To be fair, I didn't use Igus all that much when I was, uh, when I was doing the journey, but... I noticed this. I can confirm that these are different voice lines, so... Yeah. Please, don't resist. This sure is a fight. And look at our new uh, status screen. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little bit weird to me, but that's a shitload of experience actually. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> What? Academics needs work. <laughs> Charm, kind-hearted, fair enough, but courage is fearless. Why does her academics needs work? What is going on here? I thought I guess was supposed to be like the fucking brilliant robot that knows everything. Oh, whatever. So we're level 25 now. Cool, I guess. Well, that was thrilling. Much stronger than expected. I have no choice. Huh? Is this... Is that a gear mode? Are they gonna are they gonna address why Igus can use her persona, why Metis has a persona she can use and it's not the dark hour? That Koromaru face, Jesus fuck. Animation is a little strange looking to me. My body. Hindrances will be removed. I don't remember this part, I must confess. What's this? Don't tell me. Igus has awakened to a new power. Athena has metamorphosed into Orpheus. Ah, oh, fuck. Here we go again. I... What happened? 
happened? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ah, a very rare guest indeed. Are you a simulacrum, or in fact human? <laughs> it seems your destiny is similar to mine. Um, where am I? Who are you? Oh, you know, just the guy. The guy. Ah. Oh. Forgive my manners. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Igor, and this is Elizabeth, my assistant. We reside in this velvet room. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between mind and matter. A room for those who have forged a contract. Yes, in awakening to the power of the wild card, you are now bound to a contract. Girl, you need to get a fucking lawyer. You didn't sign anything, and you're bound to a contract? This is Red Flag Central. From this moment forth, you are our guest in the Velvet Room. Wild card? Surely you know of which I speak. The ability to hold multiple personas and wield their powers. Until recently, a young man with the same talent was our guest here. You know of him? Indeed I do. He achieved a marvelous thing. Reaching the answer to life. Oh, the answer. They said the answer, everyone. Oh, boy. It's hard to not be an asshole during this, because it's like, this is just cutscene after cutscene. The answer to life. The power you have gained is a means to attain that answer. This answer, if I reach it, would it mean my death? All who live journey in search of the answer. And they reach it at the journey's end. If you have close ties to people you call friends, remember this. Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. Okay. It was the same for that young man. And that is all I can tell you. Well, I shouldn't keep you here any longer. The beginning of your ordeal awaits. Cool. What? <sighs> that feeling again. I am certain you will require our help in the future. Please take this. Obtained Velvet Key. It would be best if you came here of your own free will next time. Until then, farewell. All right. I once made a choice to live. So much has happened to me since that decision. If this power is a sign that I'm drawing closer to life, does it mean that the answer at the end of the journey is death? I was surprised at the time to discover how little the possibility bothered me. <laughs> she got dragged here and she's she's going to be upset about it. God, that looks awkward. I guess... I... Whew, she woke up. You really scared us, collapsing like that. Yukari-san. 
I came because Mitsuru Senpai called for me just in case. And I get caught up in this? Give me a break. I'm sorry to have worried you. Huh? And what's all this? That's a great question I've been wanting the answer to for a while now. The answer? <laughs> sorry, I... I <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> While I was fixing your body, I added some additional equipment. F from where? Where did you get this? We found some strange things under the floor. You know, fair enough. You gave me the exact answer I asked for a question I asked, so. There was no sign that you would wake up, so instead of waiting, we tried everything we could. I see. It still sucks, though. Being bossed around by her like that. That strange girl said, if you want to protect Igis, you should put that on her. Yo, looks like you've been through a lot. A bit. A bit. No worries here, though. She's on her best behavior now. She wasn't lying after all. Anyway, she can't cause any trouble now. We have our evokers this time. So again, are we going to discuss how we can use our personas even though it's not the dark hour? What do you gotta bust things up like that for? I mean, today's my turn to clean the place. <laughs> Priorities, dude. Hey, quit with the silent treatment and say something. Oh. Huh? Are you serious? You were sleeping all this time? It opened. I, uh... You look pretty comfy there. I ain't afraid of no humans, huh? It, it's just... I was tired after going into Orgia mode. Oh. Yeah? Did you cooperate with them in order to help me? The reason I came here in the first place was to protect you. These restraints aren't necessary. I won't attack anymore. No one is going to believe you if you don't explain why. It's... It's because I... You wouldn't like me. What? Hmm. Let's release her. Excuse me? Are we just... Is that the answer? Is that the answer we're going with and letting her give? What? I don't know if she can be trusted, but I believe she has no intention of fighting us. Besides which... If she has the same parameters as I do, the chains will not hold her anyway. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, I'm pretty sure we'd, she'd be able to bust the fuck out of just simple chains. But whatever. Oh, cool. Huh? Then these friggin' non-stop shifts were for nothing? First, tell me who you are and your purpose in being here. I'm Metis. As you can see, you and I are practically siblings. And as for my purpose, it's simply to save you, my only sister, from this hopeless situation. Um, okay. Hopeless situation? Did something happen while I was asleep? How long was I asleep anyway? Since our battle ended, I'd say about a day and a half has passed. Yet today is still March 31st. Tomorrow, and all the days after it, will also be March 31st. At this rate, it will last forever. Alright, I've watched Groundhog Day. We need to get the suicide montage out of the way first. I'll go. Didn't you feel it? 
The moment when time skipped. Skipped? Do you mean what we felt at midnight? Then... Are you saying that the same day is repeating itself? That's not all. We haven't been able to leave the dorm since this morning. That makes two ways we're trapped here. My question is, when did Yukari and Akihiko arrive? I'm assuming the game's gonna tell me very soon. But it's like... It, uh, you, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll assume the game's gonna tell me. No. But why? The abyss of time below us is causing a space-time distortion. Oh, okay. That explains it. Abyss... of time? It's difficult to explain. It may be easier to show you. I'll lead the way. Please follow me. Hey! Who elected you mayor? Alright. Well, I need to split the segment anyway, so let's do that now. What? Yeah, what? What is this? I, I guess to be fair, I remember this area. I remember stopping when I got to about this part. So, everything after this will be fresh. I mean, it's already feeling pretty fucking fresh because I barely remember anything that's happened before this. But whatever, let's move on. This is the Abyss of Time. It's an uncharted territory that probably spreads beneath this area like a tree's roots. How could something like this have appeared under the lounge? At first, the Abyss of Time was a small thing. Then, without warning, it began to spread out and formed a connection to your dorm. Ah, I see. It's clear just by looking at it that this place was not man-made. It might be the product of some dangerous power, the way Tartarus was. Jeez, haven't we had enough of that kind of stuff by now? I'm not sure I can explain it, but the flow of time here is not normal. The reason why time is skipping and why you can't leave the dorm is most certainly due to that effect. Okay. The only way to survive is to somehow find a way to eradicate the abyss of time. O okay. Eradicate it? How are we supposed to do that? I've already tried the simplest, most direct way. Eliminating all of you. Oh. The abyss of time connected to this dorm as if drawn to it. That, together with the way you can all perceive the time skips, it seems clear to me that you have a lot to do with the reason for this happening. So that's why you attacked? In order to eliminate us? What the hell? We, we've never even heard of this place before. If there is another way, we can only find it by entering the abyss. You'll have to discover the cause and strike at its source. Sounds easy enough. So you want us to investigate it under the assumption that we'll have to fight? That's why I insisted on the extra equipment to protect Aegis. Wait, is this a joke? Are you seriously telling us to go back to the way things were when Tartarus was around? Never mind that. How are we supposed to believe whatever you say and jump in there blind? If you have a better plan, let's hear it. First, the basement of your dorm, then the time skips, and now you can't reach the outside world. If we can't leave the dorm, how will we eat? I was also thinking that. I was like, I w okay, my logic was that, like, okay, every time the day resets, the food resets as well? If we're stuck here for long enough and we run out of food, are we going to starve to death? No! <laughs> okay. If the current situation continues, your lives may all be in danger. What I'm asking you to do is the only way for you all to survive. Naturally, we all want to survive. But you first appear to us as an enemy. You must understand that we can't entrust our lives to you. 
I'm not even buying your reason for being here. You say you want to protect Aegis, but what's in it for you? In it? <laughs> I'm doing this because I care about her. For heaven's sake, she's my only sister! About that, your claim doesn't fit the facts. Aegis was the last of her series, and none of her model were produced afterward. To hear you talk, it sounds like you've been in this abyss of time from the start. That bothers me. You said this is uncharted territory, unconnected to the outside world, am I correct? Uh, th that's... Aren't you supposed to be a weapon anyway? How do you square that with attacking us to save Aegis? That's... I... um... <sighs> I'm, I'm kind of starting to remember why I didn't continue this. Well, we're waiting. Hope you've got a good answer. Because if you're stringing us along, we're not going to let you get away with it. D enough about me. What good is any of this supposed to do you? I thought I told you there's no time to waste. Now follow me. Or are you going to give up so soon? Because if you are, you should have let me kill you in the first place. This is bugging me. Who is Metis' voice actress? It's not Laura Bailey, is it? Mm. I have to look it up. It's it's gonna bug me. Stephanie She She. Who is Stephanie She? She. I don't I don't know how to pronounce the last name, and I feel bad about that. Uh, she's been in a lot of shit apparently. Uh, she's Hinata from Naruto. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll probably ed go through her thing off screen and edit in what she's most known for. So, whatever. What did you just say? It may be true that we have no choice but to enter here. But if you continue to act this way, we'll have to go on without you. Me? Uh, you can't possibly... I, I know the most about the Abyss! You need me! And... Hey, you don't get to decide that. Fighting would put all of our lives at risk. If that's the way you think of my friends, I can't go with you. But... Ah, too bad. Well, have fun here all alone, okay? Uh, all alone? Maybe we should finish her off now, so she can't backstab us. Can we just, can we get on we with it? We don't have to go that far. Can we please just get on with it? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, I guess. I'll listen to you from now on. I will! Please, don't leave me! <sighs> Come on, it's, it's too late to get all weepy. But maybe it's true that all she wants really is to protect Aigisa. Well, Senpai, do we take her along or not? Because if this is our only choice, I just want to hurry up and get it over with. Jeez. Listen to me, everyone. It seems that once again, we will have to investigate and there will be battle involved. I've been thinking it over, and I believe Aegis should take command. If someone with the power to change personas is in charge, we can proceed the same way as before. And if you, as leader, approve, I have no issue with Metis accompanying us. Mitsuru-san... If you wish to protect me, you must fight to protect us all. Hurting my friends will not be tolerated. Do you promise? Okay, I, I, can we... I'm sorry, this is like... 
I'm not trying to, like, poison the well of, of good intentions already, but this is taking way too long. Like, the pacing in, in the journey was, like... And this is just, like, oh my god, can we get to it already? Yes, I promise. I promise. <laughs> this better not come back to bite us in the ass. Okay... I also... Hey, I guess. I'm also not crazy about the portraits with their mouth open. It looks really weird to me. I was kind of okay with it at first, but now the more that I see it, it's more... It's really weird. Since Mitsuru Senpai just mentioned it, what's up with you suddenly having his power? I... really don't know. When I thought we might lose someone else, I became scared. And suddenly... Metis, was it? Do you know anything about this? I just met her. How would I know? Anyway, if you already know someone with that same power, why not just ask him? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I love this joke. <sighs> if we're going back into combat, this clothing won't do. Fair enough. Well, you and me are still GeckoCon students until that magic degree comes in the mail. Are you guys... Sorry to trouble you, Yamagishi, but could you retrieve the armbands from the command room? Are you guys really gonna get back in your school uniforms? Is that really what's about to happen? Why? Of course. I mean, I would understand it in certain cases, like... Like, Yukari's outfit's not really practical for battle, but, like, I, whatever. Oh, and the things we found when the floor opened up. I'll look into them once I have a chance. All right. Maybe I can learn something. All right. All right, let's get back upstairs. Um, I guess... to listen to what you say so could I call you sister go right ahead <laughs> thank you sister I don't dislike Metis or anything it's just like I don't know I think she's got good voice acting, but so far I'm not very crazy about this character. She's like... I, I, I don't want to say it, but she is kind of like the Poochie of, of the Persona 3 cast right now. So, whatever. I still want answers, though. I want. Why can't we use our Personas not in the Dark Hour? When did Yukari and Akihiko show up? What's... Just, whatever. The mysterious space that's appeared, the abyss of time. Until you find the reason for its presence, you will be unable to leave the dorm. You must begin investigating at once. Like, okay, but the thing that bugs me about Akiko and Yukari showing up is that, like... Okay. Work with me here. Time skipped, Yukari and Akiko weren't at the dorm. Time skipped, and then the dorm suddenly became... You can't, you can't leave it. So... Can how, so were Akiko and Yukari able to enter it, but now they can't leave it, or or did they get warped there magically somehow? But the way that Yukari spoke earlier implied that she showed up there of her own free will because you because Mitsuru called her. So then that raises the question of if their phones work and people can enter the dorm, can they get like I don't know? Can anyone enter? Does it have to be specifically Persona users? Can they contact, like, the police? Not even that I think they should, but it's, like, hypothetically. You know, like, could they contact anyone? Could anyone enter the dorm? Could they get delivery to, to like, you know, oh, we're running out of food, let's order pizza. You know, like, there's, there's so many questions that I have as the annoying, nitpicky asshole that I am. And it's just, it's... I'm trying so hard not to be this way. But this, this, this type of, like... This type of plot really lends itself right now to making me ask these questions because they're not they're they're not being answered. They were clearly established. They clearly established persona rules in the journey. Personas only work during the dark hour, evokers only work during the dark hour. 
There's no dark hour. What's going on? You know, explain that. Explain it. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, you must begin investigating it once. God. Oh, man. What am I in for? What the fuck am I in for? Alright, everyone seems ready. I didn't even do the Mitsuru voice. Excuse me. Alright, everyone seems ready. I'll be supervising the investigation and assigning each of you your roles. For now, I'm going to concentrate on finding any documents similar to the ones we found in the basement. So we're splitting up? Well, I suppose you are the only one who knows where to find that stuff. I'll try to rejoin the group the moment I find what I'm looking for. I can't even use Mitsuru, man! This, ah, I want to use Mitsuru! I'd also like a second team to handle another task. Someone has to look around to see if the Abyss of Time is connected to any other places than the dorm. We have no way of estimating how long we'll be in this situation, so a stable supply route is critical. Actually, she said crucial, but whatever. Hey, wouldn't Goromaru's nose make him perfect for a job like that? I mean, if there's food or anything out there, he'll sniff it out. Arf. That's right, boy. Me and Kuromaru are going to find an exit. Liggity split. Okay, so I can't use Kuromaru or Junpei either. I mean, to be fair, I wasn't going to use either of them, but... Very well. I leave it to you two. That's that, then. Iori, Kuromaru, and myself will go our separate ways for now. The main investigation will be up to the rest of you, with I guess taking point. Alright. I guess I'm counting on you. Alright, so I have to pick between the... Where's Metis? Can I, I can pick Metis, right? I, I, I'm spoilers, I'm picking Metis if I get a chance, because I need to. The abyss of time down there is what's causing all of this, right? Then let's go out there and find the truth. We don't know what's inside, but we'll never find out if we don't look. By the way, I'm the only one with healing spells that affect our whole group. They'll come in handy if the enemy attacks us all at once. I, I played this game before, guys. Alright. Okay, what, so what are her, what's her status right now? I want to know. Uh, okay, cool. We're starting just from the very bottom. And, alright, she inexplicably doesn't have any of her good skills. I mean, to be fair, I, I expected this, so. She still has Charmedy. She doesn't have Maypatra? That's weird. Whatever. All right, all right, let's hurry up and go. Okay, done. Boxing is the same as real fighting in the sense that if you slack on your training, you lose your edge. The last two months left me in worse shape than I thought. I haven't completely forgotten my moves, but I sure can't fight like I used to either. All right, leave it to me. What are we looking at with you? And, yeah, that's about what I was expecting. Uh, just nothing. No equipment. Nothing. God. I, 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 I was expecting this, but it still kind of sucks to, like, start from the ground up again, but whatever. Alright, Metis, we're using you. Uh, oh, I can't use you? Um, is there anything you'd like to know or reconfirm? I don't know what Metis' voice is going to be, so I'm just going to wing it. About your powers. My weapon is different from yours. It's a long-range weapon designed for maximum power. My persona is called Psyche. I can't change personas like you, but I'm sure I can still be of use. I know the Gorula skill, for instance. Leave enemies with wind vulnerabilities to me. Okay, so I can add her. Good. So she's also a wind element? That's a little lame, but whatever. Uh, are we going to go? What are we looking at with you? Cross rod. Okay, I figured she was using that. Uh, so what is Psyche? Dekaja? That's... Eh, Dekaja's nice. Garula and Fatal End. I don't immediately recall what Metis' build is. She doesn't have any weaknesses, though, so I like that. Uh... It is a little disappointing that she has Garu instead of, like, Augie or Bufu, but whatever. I'm probably gonna replace her with Mitsuru the second I can, so... Yeah, we're done. Okay. And let's talk to Ken for the fuck of it. 
It seems I'm not the only one who's forgotten his skills. It's like when you memorize something just before a huge test and then forget it right afterward. I guess that means it's important to stuff uh, blah 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 blah. Okay, let's check your status. Just I'm not using Ken because because sorry, I I I like Ken more than Metis, but it's it's also the fact that I don't know what Metis is going to learn. And also there's a secret hidden reason that I'm not going to disclose for why I'm using Metis, so yeah. Anyways. Having only Hama and Zionga. Wow, that's useful. I'd like to come with you, I guess I'm all too bad. How do I save? I want to stop- oh yeah, duh. So I'm gonna stop the segment here. This is a little under an hour, but it can't be helped, because... Well, it's- that was- that was a lot of cutscenes that we had to get through, so... I'm hoping that maybe the game's pacing will improve, like, the answer specifically will have better pacing once we, like, you know, start to get into it. God, I hope so. Good evening, the date is March 31st and here's today's news. Number of blah blah blah- okay, sorry, I don't care, it's the same thing we saw in the cutscene. But yeah, uh, I guess I could also go into the Velvet Room next segment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, this was a very rough start, I must confess, so... Kinda worried about this one. I reserve the right to drop the answer at any time, by the way, so... If the answer just ends up not being good Let's Play material, 100% gonna drop it. But, I wanna see this through just because I've never actually beaten it, and, you know, fuck it. It's, it's not only is it something new, but it's like, I feel like I kinda owe it to myself for having, you know, access to the answer for all these years and never, like, finished it, so. Whatever. Hopefully it'll pick up. I'll see you guys next time for more of the questioning.